Oh. Trust me, you need this to sit through this too. So continuing on with my Fast and Furious marathon, I just watched Too Fast, Too Furious. Man. Oh, that movie's dumb. There's three reasons why it's stupid. The first is that it's a dumbed down, and I mean dumbed down, version of the first film again, except it plays out like a standard stupid cop drama movie where the bad guy is bad. The second thing is that most of the car chases or the car action scenes are fake as hell with terrible CG switching back and forth. I can see why a lot of people complained about this one, not just from how the movie is, but how the race scenes are done. Third is Tyrese Gibson. Now you can totally tell when a director's like, yeah, ad lib, that's funny, that'll work. He is a giant walking stereotype in this film. The amount of times that I heard, bruh, 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 Bruh! It got to be a bit much after a while. So yeah, after the first film set such a precedent in terms of car stunts, sure there was CG in it, but there were some car stunts that were pretty good, especially with a car going underneath the truck. What does this film have? A fake as hell jumping off a bridge of a car going on top over top of another car and then driving away. This is the first time the Fast and the Furious series died. This movie was so bad that it wouldn't be for another three years that Tokyo Drift would come out. And now I'm actually starting to have thoughts that that might be better than this one. I've always thought that Tokyo Drift was the worst, but holy, Fast 2 is stupid. It's not dumb fun like the new ones are, it's just dumb dumb. You don't care about really any of the characters. You hate the dialogue between everyone. The main villain is evil just because he smokes cigars and carries a shotgun. To be honest, I don't really see any criminal thing that he does in this movie. I don't see him as a drug mastermind. I don't see him as a criminal enterprise man. I just see him as Cole Hauser with a cigar. There isn't really a concrete good scene. There is that drag race scene between Rome and Paul Walker and those two guys with the muscle cars. That was kind of an interesting idea, but there's so many times where you can see the cut of where the car totally crashed, but they just cut it to have the car coming back. The other thing that's interesting about this movie is that it had a pretty damning effect on a bunch of the uh, cast and crew. Tyrese Gibson proceeded to do absolutely bupkiss, really, with his career. Uh, Eva Mendes, kind of the same. Especially if you count Ghost Rider. Paul Walker did a few things here and there, like Out of the Blue and Running Scared, but then he eventually came back to Fast 4. And director John Singleton. Now, John Singleton's actually not that bad of a director. He, he did the remake of Shaft, he did Boys in the Hood, and he did Four Brothers right after this. What did he do then? Nothing. Until Abduction, which is 2011. I can't believe that piece of shit movie came out in 2011. It's crazy. This was a bad film. The characters were stupid, the dialogue was dumb, the story was just a repeat except on stupid. And the cars, the cars just got so ridiculous with what they did with them and how they looked. Like This was the end, really, I would say, almost of the super crazy looking tuner. I guess the word I'm not really looking for is ridiculous, but maybe plausible ridiculous? There's really no good thing I can say about this movie and you know the funny thing is I used to watch this just as much as I watched the other one and my god it really must have my brain out. Anyway my final review for Too Fast Too Furious is a 1 out of 7. I don't want to see this movie ever again now. It's just like there are there are some really bad like hilariously bad dialogue parts in this film but other than that there's no point in seeing this movie just this is one you skip over so for this whole marathon thing i want to rank all the fast and furious movies so obviously first film is at the top and then two fast and furious is at the bottom and now comes tokyo drift which will be interesting because i've always given that movie shit especially with what they did at the end with the whole engine swapping thing but we'll see actually i'm willing to possibly see after how bad Two Fast Two Furious was. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Enjoy this if you actually watched that film too. See you later. Down.